Well, here we are, folks. Vlog number two. Oh, it's been a week. But it was Halloween. It was COVID Halloween. So this was my mask. I think I did pretty good. And uh, we didn't have a lot of kids. Had a lot of candy. So uh, that was my day. Sunday was uh, either do laundry or go to the beach. And uh, yep, I'm white, white. So 100 SPF is what I need. And guess which one I chose? Did you guess it? Yep. No laundry. I'm heading to the beach. So uh, in my car I went. And you'll probably notice right about this point that it's not looking that sunny for sunny Florida. It's a little cloudy. And I actually prefer going to the beach at this time because... Uh, not a lot of people want to be at the beach. And so I usually can get the beach to myself. And of course, as I was there, sure enough, it started to rain. But if you're familiar with Florida, rain lasts about five minutes, <laughs> 10, 15, and pretty much will stop and you'll be able to, uh, enjoy dry weather again. So, this is uh, on my way to the, uh, the beach. We have to drive over the intercoastal waters. And these are some of the, this is one of the bridges that we actually go over. This is my secret spot. I'll never tell where. Notice I've gotten Rockstar Parking. Rockstar Parking. And of course, it's just a short walk to the beach uh, from my first parking spot. <laughs> and here we go. This is turtle season, the dates of turtle season here in Florida, and uh, we take that very seriously. Usually this section, I ended up driving to Observatory Park. That's usually filled with cruise ships, uh, but not now, of course. And so I just kind of hung out there, and yes, I admit I play Pokemon. <laughs> trainer number in my uh, description of my YouTube channel if you want to be friends. So after all that, taking a look around to see what I could see, you'll notice, hey, as I'm going home, the sun is shining and the sun is out, of course, as I'm leaving. But now I know you're going to say, Jennifer, this is a really great way for you to balance and ground yourself and get back to nature. What happens if you can't go to the beach? Well, what I usually do then is I'm fortunate that I have a really nice backyard. And as you can see here, we've got some babies. They don't look like babies, but um, they are not full grown. These are white ibis, and I think it's L-B-I-S is how they're pronounced. Um, usually they're white, but these are immature, so um, I did have to look all this up. I'm not that smart, but those were walking through my backyard, and... <laughs> And this is actually my little space that I created for myself. Uh, I have some comfortable patio furniture. You can see my dog Spencer, of course, he's always around. And my poofy yoga mat there that I use for meditation. 
and as you'll see here um, I have my tablet and my headphones for guided meditation and I'll talk to you about that a little later I love to feed the birds Cardinals come through I get to see them sometimes they'll come up while I'm there if I'm really quiet and uh, of course we always have the squirrels and they tend to eat quite a bit I think I'm making them a little chunky but that's all right I love it All right, so the headphones. Yep, I am old school. I have headphones that are hardwired in <laughs> to my tablet. And I love Kelly Howell. She has a, an app called Meditate Me. And she's got lots of different things. This is the one that I prefer uh, to use with her. Um, it's a service you can either buy her stuff or you can use a membership. I believe she's got a membership. I love her guided meditations and um, I have had high blood pressure and just listening to her um, guided meditation on let it go <laughs> has reduced my blood pressure so yes I need to let it go but um, that is one that I, I really really enjoy five minutes you can do it for um, sometimes there's 15 minute ones and 10 minute ones so there's no reason not to uh, sit down and meditate and even for just five minutes I absolutely love it so I highly encourage you to check that out when you can it'll make your day better too and then of course I always make sure to drink water I'm a big fan of mountain water um, or mountain valley water from Arkansas so uh, I have a link to the bio on that whole history but that's it, folks. That is what I do for relaxation. What do you do? Would love to hear.